So you have a Nikon camera and you're wondering how the hell do I autofocus while I'm using a gimbal or a Steadicam? Well, I'll show you in this video. As previously mentioned, Nikon cameras are known for having horrible autofocus for primarily videos, which is why when I use steady cams or glide cams, one of the things I use is I don't put it on autofocus. What I do put it on is on autofocus single servo. And that's only for the fact that I need to have the subject to be in focus first. Once I have the subject that or talent that is in focus, then I switch the camera back to manual focus. And there are essential three principles that you need to know when using a Nikon camera, especially when it comes to using any glide cam, gimbal, or whatever you want to use as a steady cam. So first, you need to consider that Nikon cameras always hunt. And this is really bad when it comes to things like you wanna use a steady shot or a steady cam when it comes to having a tracking subject and you don't want your Nikon camera to be constantly hunting and pulsing when you need something or your subject to be in focus and that subject is always moving around. So what you need to do is you need to set your camera in manual focus like I already said and there's a couple ways to bypass Nikon's autofocus system when it comes to tracking subjects. First is you want to make sure you have a very high aperture. In other words, when I mean high aperture, I'm talking about along the lines of f8 all the way up to f22. Because if you're shooting video and you're using a gimbal and you're using f1.8, f even 2.8, chances are it's going to be very hard to get things in focus. So you might as well have almost everything be in focus. So tip number one is to make sure you have a very very high aperture so even if your subject does step out of your frame of focus chances are they are still in focus because the aperture is so damn high rule or principle number two when it comes to autofocusing or focusing on a nikon camera and using a gimbal or steady cam is that if you don't want to have your aperture set up really, really high at f22 and you want to keep it at, at let's say f3.5, then what you need to do is be very consciously aware of how much your distance is from your camera and your talents walking distance. So what you want to do is you want to match that distance between the camera and your talent and keep that distance exactly the same. I know it's hard but you want to get a rough estimate of how far you are from yourself and the talent that you're trying to film. For example, this principle works really well when it comes to someone who's walking or a rap kind of music video where you're constantly tracking your subject. So as you can see here, all I really did was try to stay, I would say within a foot, a foot and a half from my talent and I didn't really have to worry about having to focus again because I knew that distance between me and my talent. And lastly, when it comes to having autofocus and using a Nikon camera, I use a D5200 on a gimbal, which I use as a newer, is that your basic things of shutter speed. And I talk about this more in another video, but you wanna have your shutter speed if you're using or filming in 23 or 24 frames per second, is you wanna have a shutter speed of one over 50. And if you're shooting slow motion, you wanna have a shutter speed of one over 20th or closest as you can get to that shutter speed. The ISO can vary depending on how much light or lighting there is, but overall, those are my exact settings that I used to get these shots that I completely shot on my Nikon D5200 with the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens with vibration reduction on, of course, as well as my newer 24 centimeter 60 inch steady cam. And who says you can't shoot steady cam or gimbal shots on a Nikon camera? And those are my tips when it comes to shooting video and autofocusing or focusing on a Nikon camera, specifically on using a glide cam. And if you haven't noticed yet, these are the same principles and foundations and every setting is similar because it carries across from 
one type of shooting environment to another. If you want more tips and tricks on Nikon videos and the best settings or understanding how autofocus actually works on this camera, link is in the description to watch more videos and get more value. But my name is Peter, you're watching Broke Visionary Collective. We all start with nothing, but you can always create something.